everyone! I think I mentioned in my last video that I started bullet journaling again and I've been doing lots of shopping on Etsy for different stickers and I bought a few recently so I thought I would show you the ones that I got. I've got things from two different Etsy shops to show you and I've also got something from Amazon. I'll start with what I got from Amazon because I've only got one thing. If you follow any planning YouTube channels or Instagrams or anything to do with planning and bullet journaling then you might know that these style cases are quite popular to hold all your stickers and pens in and I've been using one of these for quite a while and I wanted to I wanted to change it up a bit and get something different so I bought this pink one and it's a lot wider than the other one and it's, but it stores about the same amount so what they're supposed to be used for is like a travel wallet to put um, your passport and things in but most people use them for their planner supplies and they're really nice <laughs> so it's got this nice handle on the side which is quite good and the zip goes all the way around and you open it up like this and this is all of my things that I use for my planner so it's got a mesh pocket and then a few smaller pockets behind the top one's kind of a credit card size and the back one goes down a bit further it's got a pouch in the back here and then it's got one two three other sections on this side and a zip pouch as well you can fit lots of pens in there and then on the back it's got another zip pocket as well I'm really happy with this I really like the colour I wanted something that would look nice with my blue notebook that I use for my bullet journal I'll just show you that now so this is my bullet journal it's a really nice blue colour it's one of the Leuchtturm books I don't know if I've said that right I don't think anyone's ever sure if they've said it right that's what people always say in videos but yes it's this nice blue and I had the light blue case to go with it and I thought it was just a bit too much blue because blue's not my favourite colour and before I put this badge on the front there was a little aeroplane kind of badge thingy on there and I took that off and now it's got a little hole in it so I had to put that on but I just thought of that recently but I thought these two would look nice together the two different colours and I also like the little badge on the front that says what a day I thought that was quite sweet and it's about the same size as my book as well and I just think that the two colours look nice together so the first shop that I bought things from on Etsy is called Lethbridge Cards. It's a shop in the UK, so the postage is quite reasonable. And most nice planner sticker Etsy shops are in America and the shipping is really expensive. I only got one lot of stickers for this first time and it's these different coloured or different shades of blue arrows. Uh, they're just something simple that I can use in my planner. I liked all of these colours as well, I thought they were quite pretty. And she also sent a little sampler, but it's a really nice sampler. If you buy stickers from Etsy shops that are like these kind of Erin Condren, Phyla Thax, Kiki K planner stickers, then they send you a little sample of some of their other designs, and she sent this one. I'll do a close up so you can see, see them better, but it's just a little assortment of some of her different designs. I really like this bunting, she does that in lots of different colours so I'm definitely going to get some of that soon I think. And I like the clothes on the washing line and the iron and these little dotted page flag sticker things. <laughs> Obviously they're stickers, um, but I just like the dotted outlines of those. So they're really nice. Yeah, I'm really happy with the stickers that I got from her. I also bought two packs of like more generic stickers that you can get anywhere like on Amazon but she sells them so I bought them from her. The first kind are these sort of banner stickers and they're all different types of banners obviously and these are all the red ones. There's red ones and black ones. I'll open it up so you can see them. They are supposed to be for Polaroid pictures for the Instax Mini. I didn't know that until I bought them. And they're on quite a shiny paper. So you get a page of these banners and different speech bubbles and bunting designs. And then a few different shapes and weather ones and other speech bubbles all in red. And then there's some more header type ones and some page flaggy looking things. 
that say love, hello, and thank you. And then this kind of to-do list style, which is quite cute. I don't know if I'd be able to write on there because my handwriting is not very good. And you get the same, I think they're the same. Yep, you get all the same designs again, but in black. I like this one, it's like a little notepad. Yeah, so they're all the same, but in black. And these are all relatively cheap. She has really good prices on her shop. Like I said, for the postage, is the postage is really good and really fast and the prices are all really good, so I'm definitely going to be buying stuff from her again. And the other set of stickers that I got that are similar to that are these bunnies, and they're all kind of like little chubby bunnies, and they are so cute. I've already used a few in my planner, and I love these. You just get, I don't know how many sheets do you get? Two, four, six sheets of different designs, so you get all these different ones, and they're just really cute, and I love them. <laughs> There's different, all the different bunnies obviously, and then there's other items, so there's a few different food ones at the bottom. There's one that looks like a little Yakult bottle, if you know the Yakult brand of yoghurt drink thingies that you can get. And there's ice creams, these ones are nice, there's like a little bus and a car on that one. I'll do another close up of these, because they're all quite detailed as well, so, so that you can see them a bit better. And there's a little TV with all the bunnies in them, and a bunny on a scooter. And then the last few pages are just lots of plain little bunnies. But I really like those. I've already used quite a few. And the last item that I got from Lethbridge Cards Etsy shop was this little to-do list. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well because the lighting's not very good at the moment. It's about half five and the sun is going down and my light in my room is quite yellow. But it's just this really sweet little to-do list and it's got a little giraffe in the corner. You've got um, one to eight down the side and then some little tick boxes as well. I just wanted something small like this to be able to put in the back of my bullet journal to be able to write lists on and any notes that I need. I've been using it for shopping lists and stuff, it's really good. And it's also got a little section on the top where you can write the date. She had a few different designs of these but I went for this one because I liked the little flowers and the giraffe. That's everything that I got from Lethbridge Cards. The next shop that I bought some things from I'd never used before and they're called Managing Mischief and they've got loads of loads and loads of different designs of planner stickers. I bought two different ones, I'll show you them now. I wanted to be able to write what TV shows I'm going to be watching on different days because I watch a lot of stuff on Netflix and I record a lot of stuff on Sky so I wanted to be able to write in the days when different TV shows are on TV and for if I'm planning to watch a few episodes of something on Netflix I can write that in as well. So I got these and they're just loads of multicoloured little TVs and they're just really sweet and I like that you get all these different colours so if you've got a specific theme or you just have a favourite colour that you want to use for a whole week. You have all these different colours to choose from. I kind of like that they're not in rainbow order and it's just random, so it just it's just nice. It just looks pretty. And then the next sheet I got were these little cars. They look a little bit like a Fiat 500, which is the car that I kind of want. I don't drive yet, but I need to get back into doing driving lessons, so I th this is going to sound so sad. But I thought if I get myself some little stickers of little cars, then I'm going to be more likely to book lessons for driving and write them in my planner. So that's what I did. And I bought these cute little cars. And again, they're in the lots of different colours and they're all random. And they're just so cute. I love them. I'm definitely going to book a driving lesson for next week, maybe. I don't know. I'll see how I feel. But when I do, I've got the stickers. When I bought these, I thought they didn't come with a sampler, and I really like when you get the little samplers with them, because you get to see some of the different designs that you wouldn't necessarily have bought, but I was really surprised and really happy with this shop. And their sampler looks like this, and it's massive. It's the same size as um, the full sheet of stickers that I bought, and you get some little TVs on there as well. So. I was just so surprised to get such a large sample sheet. I've only ever gotten ones that are this kind of size and again that's quite a large one with a few different ones on 
as well. But this is just massive. You get four of the cupcakes, some arrows, little coffee cups, these little circles, some little boxes down here that you can write stuff in I guess and some envelopes and some TVs these little hearts and then these two full boxes and a half box which I think are for like an Erin Condren style planner that have the boxes and stuff this is a nice ombre checklist looking sticker so I could probably use that as a little to-do list or something so thanks for watching my first ever Etsy sticker haul. I really like shopping for stickers, it's really fun. I especially like finding Etsy shops that sell planner stickers that are in the UK it's because it's nice to support more local shops and the shipping is cheaper. It's, it's just the truth. <laughs> I don't want to have to spend £2 on the stickers and then £9 for postage because that's what most of them seem to be on Etsy which is a shame. Anyway, so that's everything that I got from Etsy and Amazon when I was doing my planner sticker shopping. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon. Bye!